wow. <laughs> I didn't realize I was so showing so much. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sean, melanoma mom. I'm here to save you from bad purchases. Now you may disagree with me on some of these, that's okay. Or you may have sunscreens to add to my list. Feel free to do both in the comment section down below. I'm helping my sister move tomorrow. So I, and my birthday's next week. So I've stayed in a, in a hotel. And as the sun goes down, I'll show you the sunset in just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> First warning label, 1990s wants their SPF back. These are sunscreens that are super white <laughs> from back in the 90s. They have the worst white cast. For example, a vino sensitive baby. Oh my goodness. They're also thick too. Basically, the majority of mineral baby SPFs I've noticed. Do sunscreen companies hate babies? Because why do they give them the thick white pa pasty sunscreens? <laughs> I don't know. Also, Bobo Botanicals. Sun stick, this one, this one right here. No, no, 1990s called, they want their SPF back. Number two, universal tint, that is not actually universal. You can't call it universal if it doesn't fit for everyone. Why do sunscreen companies do this? For example, Dermatology has two sunscreens that I know of right here. <laughs> that say universal tint on the outside of the bottle, yet are way too dark for me, way too dark. Also, CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen, yeah, super dark, not universal, not sheer. I don't know why they put sheer on it either. <laughs> Number three, nose plug needed. Strong sense in sunscreens, why are we still doing it? Long comb SPF, <coughs> habit spray SPF, my shell in the dropper SPF, stay with me here, it smells like metal to me. Is it just me or does anybody else smell blood when you smell that? I know, it has like a metallic scent. Now this next one, I, I love the sunscreen. I actually brought it with me here on this trip and I'm gonna wear it tomorrow to help my sister move. It is the Unsun, Everyday by Unsun sunscreen. It is very highly fragranced like lavender because it has a lot of essential oils in it. Number four, bad packaging. Really, really, is it just me? any jar SPF. I don't wanna see it. Again, I brought a jar SPF with me <laughs> to put on my body. I brought the Kills Moisturizing SPF 30 in a jar because I needed something that wasn't gonna get all over my clothes. I'm in a nice hotel. <laughs> I didn't wanna be looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost here, but I hate a jar sunscreen. It just feels, it just, it just, I can't tell how much I'm putting on. I don't know. There's also a sun bomb one that I tried in a jar that was clear zinc. I feel like I use maybe too much with those. I'm trying to think. I saw a Walmart version of a jar sunscreen when I was doing my shopping vlog the other day. Another bad packaging, the squeezy tubes. <laughs> I know it's convenient, like the Neutrogena tented, but sometimes they shoot out on their own. Like the sunscreen, you, you twist off the lid and <clears throat> It just comes squirting out and then you got it on your hands and you're putting it and then it's just all over the packaging of the bottle. I hate that. My favorite sunscreen, Misha Soft Finish. All of those Misha bottles that look like this, that have the colored lids, eventually by the time you use it, the sunscreen wipes the color off the top and it flakes off. And then you're rubbing sunscreen on your face and you've got pink flakes from the, from the sunscreen bottle and dropper SPFs. I love a dropper SPF, but it's gonna get goopy all over the lid. The, the dropper's gonna get it. I mean, it's just, it's a hot mess. Number five, no point. There's no point to these sunscreens have an SPF in them. There's no point to products having SPF. Any product that has less than SPF 30 in it. And I'm talking foundations. I'm talking sunscreen oils. I'm talking just regular SPF 15 sunscreens. There's literally no point to those. You may disagree with me, but anything less than a 30, don't, don't bother putting it in. <laughs> Number six, bad influence. These are sunscreens that encourage tanning and deceive with a low SPF. For example, tanning oils. Anytime you find sunscreens or in the sun care section of every website, they include the tanning oils that might have SPF of four. <laughs> there's, 
They're, they're a bad influence. They tell people, hey, you can get a tan and also protect your skin from the sun at the same time. But it, it doesn't work that way. Number seven, Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Do I need to say more? Tinted SPFs that are actually orange on your skin. For example, the CeraVe Hydrating SPF does that for me. I'm orange. I'm just a Doompa Loompa walking around. I might as well be in the Willy Wonka movie. And number eight, Grogu Green. If you don't know who Grogu is, Baby Yoda. These are SPFs that have Sika in them. These are SPFs really that bother me is that they're not labeled as green. Now. Mind you, okay, it says green. I'm just gonna, I've learned to stay away from those, the green ones. They don't color correct for me. And I have red flush skin. I had a mimosa at the spa earlier. So I'm sure my cheeks are red right now. BioClarity Sun Filter, I didn't like that one. That one was very green. Now I do like this one, the Unsun Sunscreen <laughs> that I brought with me on the trip. It comes out poopy baby diaper green, but thankfully it does not look like that on my face. So what would you add to my list? I'm going to go enjoy lounging in the bed. Here are some pictures that I've taken uh, trying to be all artsy fartsy and uh, forgetting that one, this one here, I kept my socks on for, oops. Uh, this one here, I accidentally called the bar bartender over. <laughs> this one here uh, is my first ever mimosa at the spa getting a pedicure. I'll see you in the next video, bye. Excuse me, look at these waffles. Oh my goodness. Cloth, napkin, bacon. Mm. Mm.